Hello, my name is Lai Jain and I am presently studying in class 12th. I am a gold medalist in the 48th International Physics Olympiad held at Yogyakarta, Indonesia. Students who want to prepare for the second stage that is Indian National Physics Olympiad, I would say first go through the past few papers and after you have got an idea of what the questions asked and uh, what syllabus they pertain to, start uh, reading things accordingly. Keep in mind that uh, they have removed relativity, a uh, special theory of relativity from the syllabus. Besides, uh, you must be familiar with all the class 11th and 12th topics. The questions asked are generally of high difficulty level. All the physics problems that are usually uh, there for the J preparation. Other than that, I recommend books like Kleppner, Morin and P.M. Purcell. I would say uh, that you start, you chart out a plan about uh, what you want to complete till 28th and uh, do accordingly, uh, accordingly as planned in your daily schedule. Besides during the exam, uh, usually the questions of higher difficulty and the questions that carry the most weightage uh, in terms of marks come at the end of the question paper. So it is a good practice to start the question paper in case of INPHO from the last question onwards. I am Navneel Singhal of class 12th. Uh, I qualified for uh, the International Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics in 2017-18 uh, uh, while, uh, while in class 11th. I qualified for the International Olympiad in Astronomy and Astrophysics. I got a, I backed a silver medal in, uh, in the Olympiad which was held at Phuket in Thailand uh, in the month of uh, November. Stage 2, uh, I would suggest you to do uh, all the physics and maths part of class 11th and 12th which is uh, basically what uh, what is exactly asked in the uh, INO paper but uh, you should also do some some of the observational part uh, which is uh, which is relatively relatively a minor part of the exam but uh, it is still important uh, you should uh, do all the past papers from like uh, from the past 3 years or past uh, 4 years and i think that should be enough for the second stage uh, the type of questions are uh, mostly uh, the ones that use uh, physics and maths like last year there was a question on probability and uh, estimation and of certain astronomical phenomena that uh, that are uh, judged to be important in uh, astronomy i think uh, i think you should uh, go for the book astronomy principles and practice by uh, Roy and Clark. You shouldn't do other books for uh, for the national round because there isn't much astronomy in the national round. You sh you can get through easily using only physics and maths. Hello, my name is Dhir Sankalp Gandhi and I'm in class 11th. I qualified for the International Chemistry Olympiad last year held in Thailand and I would like to share my experience about preparing and qualifying for the second level of the same process known as Indian National Chemistry Olympiad or INCHO. So basically INCHO is a class 12th syllabus and a little plus. So you have to stay in at least class 12th chemistry and NCIT. Se to और उसके बाद आपको कुछ कुछ एक्स्ट्रा बुक्स भी पढ़नी होती है जैसे मैंने खुद रिफर किया था ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री में एक क्लेडन करके बुक आती है और वो काफी अच्छी रही और मतलब एक फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री में आती है एक एटकिंस की बुक आती है काफी मोटी होती है पूरी पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है पर मतलब काफी हेल्प हो गई उससे और थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्टी लेवल अच्छा रहता है पर एग्जाम में मतलब कंफ्यूज नहीं होना आपको क्वेश्चंस लगेंगे टफ पर बाद में आपको थोड़ा सा ट्राई करेंगे तो मतलब हो जाता है मोस्टली तो बस अच्छे से प्रिपेयर कीजिए और बहुत मुश्किल नहीं होता आराम से दीजिए और बस अच्छा करें जैसे कि आप जानते हैं बस कुछ ही दिन बच गए आईएनसीएचओ में तो अब तक आपने काफी कुछ पढ़ लिया होगा बस एंड टाइम पे जो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स होते हैं उनको रिवाइज कर दीजिए और बस ज्यादा हिस्टी नहीं होना और अच्छे से करना है मैंने भी मतलब मैं भी इस बार देने वाला हूं और मैंने लास्ट ईयर भी ये सब मेहनत की थी तो मेरे को ये हेल्प हुई आईसीएचओ में सिल्वर मेडल मिला है मेरे को और इस साल तो का पेपर भी मतलब लेवल ठीक ठाक ही रहेगा तो आपको बस अच्छे से रिवाइज करना है और बाकी बहुत ज्यादा एंड टाइम पे पढ़ने से कोई फायदा नहीं होता जितने मेन पॉइंट्स होते हैं वो आपको पुराने पेपर देख के आईडिया आ जाएगा तो वो एक बार बस देख लीजिए
बेसिकली आई एन सी एच ओ के लिए प्रिपेयर करने के लिए आपको पुराने पेपर से बहुत हेल्प मिलेगी और मैंने भी ये सब देखा था जब मैं 2017 में आई सी एच ओ गया था और इन्हीं सब ने मेरे को काफ़ी हेल्प भी किया है 2017 थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन में सिल्वर मेडल लाने के लिए और आई एन सी एच ओ में भी सिलेबस काफ़ी कुछ सेम ही रहता है मतलब आई सी एच ओ और ओ सी एस सी के जैसा तो बस आप पुराने पेपर्स देखिए और जो जो भी मतलब आपको इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स लगते हैं उनको अच्छे से हाईलाइट करके रिवाइज कर लीजिए और अच्छे से एग्जाम में कॉन्फिडेंट होकर जाइए और दे दीजिए I'm Suti Khandwala. I have been the silver medalist in IBU 2017. So about Indian Indian National Biology Olympiad, there is a particular mindset with which one has to attempt the paper. So bio में ऐसा नहीं होता कि तुम्हें हर हर topic आए हर subject आए, पर तुम जितना ज़्यादा पढ़ोगे, उतना तुम ज़्यादा attempt कर पाओगे without reading the subject. Basically, the paper is extremely lengthy, and you have to be extremely careful about the time limit. There are long paragraphs which one has to read in like a stipulated time. Mostly 30 seconds is like the maximum, and you have to get the highlights of whatever the procedure is given, or maybe the highlights of some new biotechnology procedure, something like that. And then you have to attempt questions. There are basically 20 to 30 MCQs in the initial part of the paper, and they're related to like more basic knowledge and. After that, there are long paragraphs with true and false type questions, and you actually don't have to be extremely sure of the answers. You can just do it in like a jiffy. I mean, in half a second, either a T or a F. You can be sure that you can get it correct. Now, for the subject, Campbell is like the basic and the best book which everyone refers to, but it's not the only book you you can refer to. I mean, for the overall subject, you at least have to be thorough with each and every concept of Campbell. and then whenever you want to get like specific details of suppose amino acid titration or something like that you can refer to biochemistry of leninger and then there is ecology from eugene p odom hello everyone myself mudita goel and i got a gold medal in igso 2017 held in netherlands Regarding the preparation for INJSO, I would say that it's not too different from that did in NSEJS. There are 30 MCQs and 60 marks subjective paper which you have to solve in three hours. Uh, I would suggest you to solve the MCQ paper in about 45 minutes to one hour because the time given is really very short for INJSO, and then go up to subjective part. And for the subjective part, you should uh, follow the instructions given in the paper and do the questions as they are given in the paper for the preparation for biology campbell is enough but you need not do all the chapters of campbell since it's a vast book you can leave diversity and topics such as animal behavior or restoration ecology you should focus on animal physio plant physio cell bio and genetics for chemistry i think rc mukherjee is enough for physical and for inorganic you can do ncert of class 11th and 12th basic chapters uh, organic chemistry is not asked too much so you just need to have the basic concept of class 10th for physics hc verma is enough and <coughs> you need not solve uh, the chapters based on integration and differentiation because they are uh, above the level of igso so you can just do the basic chapters like kinematics electrostatics electric current and thermodynamics to ensure that your paper goes well you can solve the past year papers and do them in limited time so that you get a feel of how the paper goes really and that's it i would say all the best and do your best thank you hello students my name is akhil jain i am the gold medalist of ijso 2017 held in the netherlands एन एस सी जे एस टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन का जब रिजल्ट आया तो मुझे पता लगा मेरा सिलेक्शन हो गया है तो उसके बाद मैंने आई एन जैसो के लिए प्रिपेरेशन शुरू की जिसके लिए मैंने सबसे पहले उसके पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स देखे और साथ में पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स के हमने कुछ बुक्स रेफर की जिस जैसे बायोलॉजी के लिए हम नील कैम्बेल और इलेवन ट्वेल्थ की एन सी आर टी केमिस्ट्री के लिए मैंने आर सी मुखर्जी और फिजिक्स के लिए मैंने एच सी वर्मा रेफर की और उसके बाद 
हमने इधर रेगुलर टेस्ट दिए और आई एन जैसो के एक दिन पहले मैंने बिल्कुल पढ़ाई नहीं की कोई लोड नहीं लिया और सारा प्रेशर रिवील कर दिया आई एन जैसो का जो पेपर पैटर्न होगा उसमें थर्टी क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू आएंगे विद मार्किंग स्कीम ऑफ प्लस वन एंड माइनस पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन आएंगे हमारे थ्योरी ऑफ फाइव मार्क्स ईच एंड टोटल पेपर विल बी ऑफ नाइनटी मार्क्स सो हमको सबसे पहले एम का सेक्शन अटेम्प्ट करना चाहिए जिसमें हमको आउट ऑफ थ्री आवर्स वन आवर से ज्यादा नहीं देना है उस वन आवर में जितना हो जाए उतना बहुत है उसके बाद हमको अपना मैक्सिमम टाइम थ्योरी पर देना है इसके साथ हमको प्रेजेंटेशन का थ्योरी में बहुत ध्यान रखना है हमको ज्यादा उसमें कट्स वगैरह नहीं लगाने हैं एमसीक्यू में उसके हमको स्पेशल मार्क्स मिलते हैं अगर आप प्रेजेंटेशन सही रखेंगे जैसे आप स्कूल में लिखते हैं तो आपको स्पेशल मार्क्स मिले जाएंगे इसके अलावा हमको पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स भी देखने चाहिए उससे हमको पेपर पैटर्न का और किस टॉपिक का किस कितना वेटेज रहेगा उसके बारे में हमको आइडिया लगेगा हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज आदर्श एंड आई एम आई जे सो टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट हेल्ड इन नीदरलैंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रिगार्डिंग आई जे सो आई वुड स्टार्ट विथ हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट एस as you have prepared for uh, nscgs the syllabus is almost the same just you need to go in a little more deeper in every topic and to develop a subjective approach as uh, the 50% of the paper in ing ing so is subjective for biology uh, you need to read ncrt of class 11th and 12th uh, and then go for campbell uh, Campbell is the best book and it would also help you for further stages. So first in Campbell you need not do all the chapters uh, you have you have to read just selected chapters like cell biology then genetics uh, then animal physio plant physio and ecology. And for chemistry uh, in for physical chemistry RCM is enough for seven chapters of RC Mukherjee is really very important so you should do that. and for inorganic chemistry uh, you should uh, refer class 11 12th ncrt like hydrogen s block p block and for physics uh, hc verma is the best book for this igso in hc verma you uh, in part 1 first you have to do mechanics uh, fluids optics and from part 2 you have to do <coughs> electrostatics and current and electricity you should also solve past year ings paper to get a feel that how the questions are being asked <clears throat> and now about how to attempt the paper you are given 3 hours and in which uh, it there are 30 mcq questions and around 12 subjective question with sub parts then you should try to complete your mcq part within 1 hour if it is if it is not completed then you should go for subjective uh, leaving that questions and in subject you should first uh, the questions are paragraph based big big paragraphs are being asked then you should first read out it as fast as you can and understand whether you can solve this problem or not and you should try to uh, solve those questions which are which you can solve in first attempt uh, then after that you should go for the remaining mcq question and the question in subject which you left all the best to everyone for ingso